Hey, Alex here from Alex Social in front of the San Diego, I always have to check where I am, San Diego City Skyline. Gonna get right into a topic today uh, in regards to inner game, the mind games that go on when you do your approach. And something that we call a demonstration of indifference. Okay, demonstration of indifference. That is what I've got a brief and effective message for you here today. So, a demonstration of indifference. Alex Social, natural game. Okay, we do the four week natural program and I like you to play the kind of game that's very sustainable, kind of low energy, you can do a lot of approaches, you don't look like a pickup guy, you don't have massive state pumps and massive burnouts. So I want you to be quite smooth on your approach. I don't want anybody to be able to um, accuse you of doing wrong or accuse you of being too aggressive. I want you to play the kind of game that mitigates all errors, all accusations. Okay, I want you to play it in a way that you make it easy for yourself. But then you say, isn't that a little bit boring? And you know, to be honest, you're right. Okay, you need to be, you know, you can't just be a boring guy like rolling up. Hey, where are you from? What are you doing? In my infill videos, in uh, Social Encrypted, www.socialencrypted.com, with the uh, the infill video deliveries with the black tier there. When I do my game, I will roll up, and I'll be very chill. I'll be actually extremely boring because I know that I want to have a really long interaction. I can do a lot of reapproaches, and I want to kind of rush and show. Uh, what I'm made of at the front door. That's where my physicality and my alpha comes in. But what I guess I failed to mention and make clear to you, and what you might be missing, or having a little bit out of balance, is an early demonstration of indifference, okay? An early demonstration of indifference. So imagine a super suave guy, imagine you're going up, you're dressed well, you're low energy, you're calm, you're chill, but you're positive, you're appreciative, you wanna go talk to that chick, and you're gonna go up and you're gonna do the approach, you're gonna be excited about getting to know her, and the approach is gonna look very James Bond, okay? And for the most part, that's how I feel when I do the approach. I'm chill, I'm appreciative, I look on her lovingly, I look on her, I look on her excitedly. I, I'm very, my mind is um, filled with the idea of the potential of what she and I could become, uh, either intimately or travel friends or my fantasies about her, that's in my mind when I do the approach. But oftentimes, all, like actually all the time, I will demonstrate indifference early, okay? So for example, uh, <laughs> I'll go over and I'll use interview questions, okay? The chode questions, where are you from, what do you do? Um, and then I might say something like, I'm out here to fuck tonight, okay? Just to show a demonstration of indifference. Another thing that I'll get my students to do, to use a demonstration of indifference, I'll get them to go over, talk to the chicks, and my students, you know, they might have approach anxiety, they might not have self-trust that they are enough on the approach just as it is. So I get them to go over and do really boring questions, but then demonstrate indifference by, for example, they'll, you know, the camera won't be able to catch this, but drop their ass all the way to the ground, okay, and say, you're welcome, all right? Or they might say something else. What other things do I get them to say? My hi, I've got, uh, my name's Chris. I'm from Germany. I'm traveling here for a month, and I've got very good hair. You're fucking welcome. <laughs> and when you when a student says that kind of thing, when anybody says that, that demonstration of indifference, and then you go back to normality, empathy, appreciation, interest, expressiveness, okay? Regular charismatic behavior, self-trusting behavior, but you've shown that you're not there to manage the impression that you're making to the girls by doing any variety of things that don't need to be funny. We're not, we're not button pushing here, and you're not doing the kind of things that are supposed to generate attraction, you're alleviating tension and you're alleviating the girl from the concern that you are trying to manage your impression that you're making on her. You're basically, with a demonstration of indifference, you are demonstrating that you don't give a shit if you make a good impression or not. Okay, I remember one time I was in uh, Los Angeles with a guy called Steve from the United Kingdom and we were in uh, a diner and we met a couple of chicks walking into the diner in Los Angeles, Mel's diner actually, at the same time, and and they heard our accents. The American girls heard the British and the Australian accents, and the girls were like, "Where are you from?" And we said, "You know, Australia and England." And then Steve was in a really great fucking mood. He kind of got down into a chair squatting position and he farted in front of the chicks. He's like, "I'm never gonna fucking see you again," and just farted. I was like, my my mind was blown, and I'd been I'd been instructing for a couple of a uh, couple of years at that stage, and I was like, what the fuck? Now, that's not an attractive behavior, is it? No, not at all. But the inner game of that, okay, is the indifference. That you're not, uh, I'm setting a precedent, I'm, I'm uh, flagging that I'm not here to please you, I'm not here 
to do everything perfectly. I'm not here to make sure that I make the perfect impression. When you alleviate all of that pressure and you go back to normal, okay, you go back to normal, where are you from, what do you do? I like you, I think you're pretty, I'm interested in your career, calling them out on a bit of bullshit, you know, whatever that might be. And, but you've already shown that you don't give a shit, okay? Then you've got a, a situation where you're alpha. The girl sees you as a guy who's got his shit together, does things on his own terms, and you're not fucking scared of her. Basically, that's what you're showing. You're going up, super hot chick, you're showing that you're not fucking scared. And what's quite cool, when I get a student to do this, and when you go out there and implement this advice here today, you can go up and demonstrate that you're not scared, okay? Which is really important to prove that to yourself as well, if you do have a little bit of approach anxiety. So, you might go up, and one of my favorite moves is like, hi, nice to meet you, I'm your new boyfriend. And I might pull the girl in by the coat, you know, the fronts of her coat very gently, very socially, well adjustedly, and pull her in and be like, I'm your new boyfriend. She's like, what the fuck? I'm like, no, I'm just joking. So I've shown something rather over the top, maybe a little bit aggressive, very, very confident, but I don't look at her like, hey, do you like me now? Then I go on with reality as per normal. Then when, when you kind of withdraw that, that intense behavior or that, that demonstration of indifference, you go back to reality, you've, you've established a frame where the girl is gonna anticipate when or where or how that you might do something funny or interesting or indifferent again, okay? So straight away, she's not defensive to a predictable line of conversation or a predictable pattern of pickup. She's like interested to see when the next thing's gonna happen. Here's the big problem. Here's where so many people get this wrong, okay? There's a sequencing of this that's, you've gotta you know, put it in the context of the entire interaction that most guys who do realize that they can be indifferent and they can be confident and they can be over the top. They'll just do thing after thing after thing after thing, like indifferent things that gets good visual feedback from the girl, but it's entertainer man kind of stuff. As a guy who's just kind of stepped into confidence, gone from being introverted or not having the permission to do whatever the fuck you want whenever you want, and all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, I can you know, throw my arms around girls. I can kiss the girl 15 times in the face when I meet her to troll her. I can tell her that um, I want her to be my girlfriend, my fuck buddy, or I just want to see her in her lingerie. You can say those funny things, but then when you go over the top of it, you then reconfirm that you're attention seeking. So the tricky thing to do, the willpower, difficult thing to do, is for you to, to withdraw and go back to normality. And it's quite good because you'll get that smug feeling. Okay? I keep talking about the, the concept of being smug. The smug feeling of, I can make you react to me at any moment because you expect me to do so, okay? I have that little trick up my sleeve. I can do a variety of things. And what I would do, for example, um, you know, like if the interaction was kind of dying off, I might say, well, it was nice to meet you. You know, imagine like I do the, I meet the girl, I pull her in, I'm your new, I'm your new boyfriend, kiss her on the cheek, show some physicality, then I back off, I kind of act very chode for say five or six minutes. I'll deliberately do that so I'm unpredictable to her, so she's curious. Then when she gets a little bit like bored of the interaction or like, we're gonna go dance, get a drink or whatever, I'm like, oh yeah, go ahead, good good idea. Grab a drink, go dance, go see your friends, go to the bathroom, whatever it may be. Um, and of course, I intend on reapproaching later, but I'll shake her hand, nice to meet you. Sorry I interrupted in the first place, and then I'll let her walk away, then I'll drag her back, spin her, dip her, and be like, I hope I see you again soon. Oh. Pff my bad, I always go over the fucking top. And then I'll turn and walk away to set up the reapproach later. So she'll then think about me, tell me about her to her friends. Um, her friend will have seen that and verified that. I've done a takeaway essentially as well. But I'm, dem I'm very, very normal, very well adjusted, not attention seeking or entertainer man, but at the same time, I'm demonstrating what I'm capable of. And of course, that demonstration is gonna be the strongest at the end of the night when I wanna, when I wanna pull that girl into the taxi, home, dinner, uh, diner, whatever it might be, instant date, that's when the results really come. So the demonstration of indifference, what you're likely doing is being boring and predictable, okay? Throw in something crazy, silly, funny, and can be makeouts, can be physicality, can be sexual statements, can be statements of motivation, can be um, statements of desire, like I wanna see you in your lingerie, um, oh my God, you're beautiful, like exaggerated things. Just add it in, one, sparingly, do it sparingly. Or you're going completely over the top and you're doing like 15 of these things in quick succession, establishing yourself as a attention-seeking entertainer man 
and that sucks. Okay, and when you do that, the girl knows that you're you don't control the tension, that you need visual feedback. You don't trust yourself. You know, your inner game's not on point. You don't trust yourself um, just as you are to, to hold her attention. Even then, you don't even think about it like holding her attention. You think about it like you're enjoying the interaction together and there are going to be breaks and reapproaches and breaks and reapproaches, but you trust that you can do that. You trust that you're going to not need feedback from her to keep reapproaching her that night, um, accumulating and uh, attempting to leave together, okay, trying to leave together. So they are the two big mistakes that most guys make. And then when you do it, it's a fucking skill. And even you will get addicted to that positive emotion of provoking the girl in a positive way, in a fun way, in a playful way that she doesn't know exactly when it's going to happen. So use this, the, the expression of indifference. Okay, Use that expression of indifference early. Is that what I called it before? I don't fucking know. Um, so that you have set a precedent where you can basically get away with anything. There's a lot of anticipation, but you can still be normal and socially well-adjusted and, and natural, which is what this is all about. So that's the mindset. Okay, That's like how you can put into practice the mindset of indifference, um, abundance, okay, and having other people react to you. It's coming out, okay, N-R-Y-N-E online. That's no reason you're not enough online, but the website is N-R-Y-N-E online. It's the Inner Game Manifesto. It is uh, about eight hours, nine hours of Inner Game content. Uh, it's my rejections compilation broken down and demonstrated in field to you. And, and it's, it's eight years in the making. I did social encrypted as what to say, what to do, how to be test, how to be physical, how to go to the front door, how to escalate, how to four times rule. That was like the process and the mindset of executing game. But in a game, how you've got to think about yourself and how you learn to trust yourself and how you confront and manage your own emotional issues that make you not approach, that make you not play to win, that make you not be the man that a girl needs you to be for her, that not, not even needs, she wants you to be a guy who can take care of her and look after her and make her feel special. Those issues in your mind that prevent that as the US Navy SEAL helicopter comes over the top, those issues are manageable and we've all gone through them before and I myself, have coached hundreds of students through those issues, and this is me just putting them all into a presentation with extreme passion, okay? I talk about my depression, I talk about my near-death experiences, I talk about how I got into this entire industry, I talk about my own massive failures and how it relates to you guys. So check it out, sign up, and don't miss the launch period where you can get the other uh, rejections compilation in field video section for free. So, this is Alex from Alex Social. Subscribe to the YouTube, check it out, more videos coming. And add on Facebook, okay? Uh, Facebook search Alex Social Inc. And you'll see my little, uh, I don't even know what they're called, like my live broadcast as I'm kind of wandering around the world doing what I believe to be interesting stuff. Cool guys, great speaking to you, great topic, and I'll see you in the next video. That will train you to walk around like an authority and an approval giver or not. and you'll move on through life with less cognitive dissonance, a better vibe. Good ideas, right? Probably a scientist from heaven. Probably. We get a sense of validation from influencing others. I'm being pulled. <laughs>